it would be thousands of lifetimes before we understand what's going on here and yet we're getting rid of it before we've even had time to describe what tenth of the species so go and see it look at it and look at it for its complexity and love it for what it is Hi, my name is Katie and I'm the manager of the Operation Wallace here project in Borneo. Um, I'm also the marine site manager here on Darwin Island. We have school students come out with us each summer and the first week they spend um, on our terrestrial site in the East Kalimantan region of Borneo um, and then the second week they spend on the marine site here on Darwin Island. So when students arrive into Barao, um, they're taken by car to the centre of orangutan protection where they are given presentations about what the COP do um, and also learn about how they rehabilitate the orangutans before releasing them into the Lesan Protection Forest. So from COP, students then travel on to the Lesan Dayak village where they will be staying for a night in a homestay with a local family and learning about the Lesan Dayak culture before then travelling down the Kalei River on a beautiful boat journey to our base camp. Once in camp, students will then be assisting our scientists in a number of taxonomic surveys, including bats, birds, butterflies, herpetofauna surveys, and also mammals, including primates. So here I'm helping out with large mammal surveys, uh, which involves uh, myself and the students walking uh, kilometer-long transects in order to record species uh, by sight and sound and track. Uh, these data will be used to help uh, determine which species are present here, uh, the densities of these species, and the probability of detection. Uh, the hope is we have an idea of how uh, likely you are to see some of these species if you spend time here. So to date we've recorded seven species of primates on the site. Uh, some we see uh, regularly moving through the trees, come down to the river to uh, feed each night or to drink. and. Uh, other times we're hearing or seeing uh, the sounds of orangutans and the nests they make. Another thing we do is deploy uh, camera traps along the trails. Uh, this has been uh, very valuable to detect things that we typically are not seeing, some more nocturnal species. And so far we've picked up some uh, very impressive and rare species such as the otter civet. We also have a series of lectures every night uh, that cover off some of the scientific basis for the research, uh, the data collection, and the conservation activities of, of Operation Wallacea. Uh, this information helps the students get a better handle on what they're doing and why they're doing it and how the information gets used. So we cover off uh, the ecology of the area, some of the conservation initiatives. Uh, we look at mammals, birds, uh, invertebrates. So quite a range of, of species are, are covered off. After the first week in the forest, students then head back out down the Calais River and then onto Barao, where they then catch the boat over to Darawan Island. The boat journey takes two hours, with an hour down the Barao River and then an hour open sea over to the island. Darawan Island is located in the heart of the Triangle, which means it has the highest diversity and abundance of coral and fish species in the world, so it's a perfect place for students to be based. During the marine week, students will either be completing their open water course um, with our instructors, or they'll be doing the coral reef ecology course if they are already qualified divers, or if they choose not to dive and want to snorkel instead. There is also a large population of green sea turtles that nest on the island and students will get the chance to visit the local hatchery in the village where they will learn about the local community's efforts to protect the turtles of the island. With Borneo being such a hot topic in conservation at the moment, um, this is a really cool project for students to get involved, to learn more about the wildlife and the culture of the island and get involved in the conservation efforts. I'm the Coral Reef Ecology Lecturer here on Darawan Island with Upwal on their Borneo marine site. The students this year have been the pioneers, so it's been a really exciting uh, season and we've been identifying the survey sites, the science priorities and the conservation priorities for the future years. And there's lots of opportunity for students to do the science while they're here. So we'll be doing the fish, and there's a lot of fish here to survey, invertebrates, and then we look at the benthic habitat, which is the seabed habitat. And we also do something called Coral Watch, which is trying to look at the bleaching of corals using a colour slate. So we get all of our coral reef ecology divers involved with that. And that's a massive global project that we are contributing data to. So if when you come to the marine site you're already a qualified diver or if you're going to be a snorkeler, if you're not going to be learning to dive, you take part in the Coral Reef Ecology course. So that is four days of lectures and you'll learn things like what is coral, why coral is so important, 
threats to coral. We'll also learn about the fish, the invertebrates, parasites, all of the cool, weird, wonderful stuff that happens on coral reefs and why they desperately need protecting. On our degas day, so on the last day before you guys leave, uh, we do a beach litter survey here and that data is used by an Indonesian NGO and a UK NGO to try and come up with solutions to plastic pollution. And myself and a colleague have taken 15 students between the age of 16 and 18 to enjoy two fantastic weeks in Borneo. And our first week was in the rainforest. They were operating scientific investigations every day, for example, doing transects across the rainforest, identifying all manner of wildlife but they were very happy because they were active, they were socialising, they were engaged, and they came away from there absolutely missing it and wondering what could possibly top it. We're leaving tomorrow, but it's two weeks well spent, and um, Borneo is a fantastic place. One of my favourite moments would have to be diving and seeing all of the animals but my top moment from the entire trip would have to be um, seeing a wild turtle um, lay her eggs and also a couple of nights later releasing um, hatchlings from the turtle eggs. It would be thousands of lifetimes before we understand what's going on here and yet we're getting rid of it before we've even had time to describe what well, tenth of the species. So go and see it, look at it, and look at it for its complexity and love it for what it is.